everybody, I'm back. I know I have not made a video for the Elevon channel in forever because the Elevon channel is all about going out and experiencing life and reporting back. And um, I went off and did that and then didn't report back. But I'm here now and I think I'm gonna do a little video here on crafts that I've been doing and you know, we'll just start there. So what I'm gonna be showing you, these are crafts that I've already started. <laughs> and basically what these are, I went ahead, I'm sure I'm not like ASMR. Uh, I'm sure I'm not being incredibly innovative, but I, you know, I just had these, uh, these little gems from the Dollar Tree and I have a ton of nail polish laying around. And so what I did was I took these, I painted the backs of them. And in this case, I got some, I don't know if you can see that, I got some Pokemon nail decals and I put those on the back. I tried to paint this too, <laughs> just with nail polish. So it's not perfect. It's all over the place. But what this is essentially is going to be a little match game for my nephew. So he can, you know, set these down and they, he can practice his memory skills. So I made that set, move those over. And then I made um, just another set with <laughs> more nail art, uh, these little, I have these like, like this is a watermelon. I just had these like little things. Again, this is a separate memory game that he can play and they sound kind of cool too. And there's that. So then I went to the Dollar Tree. You've probably seen these cubes around at the Dollar Tree. So I just took these, again, I used nail polish because I just have a ton of it. Um, and I kind of liked, let, let me give you this, the nail polish, stay sticky a little bit like these will stick together when i pull them apart it doesn't really mess anything up it's just a little little sticky i did put a clear coat over these uh, but the nail polish on the wood is actually acting as like a like a colorful varnish or like a colorful stain and i think it's really really cool so the idea with these i thought i would just uh you know paint all the sides and then i'm going to take a paint marker and put letters put the alphabet on them and uh, my nephew can toss these and keep tossing them until he has enough letters to make a word. And hopefully that will help him with his spelling and with his reading. Okay, so I'll show you here what works and what doesn't work. Um, remember how I said, a little sticky? Yeah, these were just stuck together. <laughs> so maybe if you have a different kind of paint that would work, again, I was just thinking in terms of, I've got all this nail polish around, there's all kinds of different um, colors and they're gonna go bad pretty soon anyway, so go ahead and use them. But you may wanna use a different paint. So I'll put in some footage of me working on this and tell you again how it's going. Let's get to it. Here we go, just using that leftover nail polish, not leftover, but you know, just to sit around not doing much with it. If I were you, would I spray paint instead? Oh yes, because this took more time than I could possibly even describe to you. <laughs> yeah, so if you, you know, if you're doing this while you're watching TV or something, that's one thing. You know, maybe if you find it calming or whatever, by all means do it. It was calming for me about the first hour I was doing it, and then I was over it. And I was just like, why in the world didn't I just get some spray paint and just do it that way? So here you see, I've already put the letters on with a paint marker. I'm just hitting this with, uh, some clear acrylic to at least attempt to get some of that stickiness out of there. And here I am just finishing up these little, I don't know what they are, like vase filler things. And yes, you can use any kind of, you know, cuticle tool or whatever to move the little sticker around. Those I just got on Etsy, those Pokemon stickers. I'm not even sure what this tool is. I just found it in my drawer. I think I was going to, uh, take out some old makeup and repot it at one point, never did. <laughs> That's how I am with most crafts. So again, with the nail polish, it made it a little sticky. I did, once everything was, uh, you know, dry, I tried to hit it with some clear acrylic again, let it sit outside to sort of get that nail polish smell off of it. It seemed to help a little bit, but you know, this is just, you know, not terribly innovative, but it's just a fun little game. Here's the end result. Honestly, I like the little fruit and bugs better than the Pokemon. Those just look really, really cool. <laughs> that sloppy little 
paint job there. Whatever, here we go. Okay, there's the mess, all of it. Thank you guys so much for being here. Comment down below, what do you want me to go experience? What do you want me to do uh, and report back on? Now I will say I, I have a sister who loves, a sister and a nephew, who love Halloween. So I have already purchased a couple of just very budget items and I'm going to do some decoupage and make some Halloween decorations for them. And then a little bit later, probably in August, I'm gonna be making a Christmas wreath for my parents, at least attempting to, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> so comment down below. Thank you for making sure that you are subscribed, liking the video and have that notification bell turned on so you get all notifications for when I post. All right, so thank you guys again, and I'll see you next time.